welcome back to your online english class are you fine okay i think you could understand my previous class could you understand could you understand something i you may have difficulties to understand when you were in the classroom you would ask me so many doubts and i was very much interested to teach you now i have such a difficulty as you are not in front of me we all have difficulty but we have to overcome the difficulties slowly we can overcome all those problems okay we can study comfortably now i would like to remind the lesson the paragraph what you studied in the previous class what is the name of the lesson and it spells you arrow i gave you the meaning in the previous class did you study that what's the meaning of this word expensive costing a lot of money i have an expensive toy got the meaning and what's the meaning of the word aroma it's a strong and pleasant smell usually of food or drink and what is the word for an unpleasant smell i told you in the last class did you study that it is odor o d o u r odor a bad odor is coming from the waste okay have you understood an expensive error in the last lesson in the last part class you study why the aroma became expensive now let's go to the last paragraph abdul rahman was a cobbler what did he do for a living he did the work of a cobbler he mended shoes for a living mended m e n d e mended shoes for a living he worked hard but he was very happy with what he had what did he bring for his lunch every day he brought the same thing he would bring the same thing for lunch his simple lunch was two chapatis and an onion and a green chip If your parents give you such a lunch, will you eat that? I don't think so. You will not eat that. You will not be happy with that. When you are in the class, you would bring different different items. Then also you are not happy with that. But our poor Abdul Rahman, he was very happy with his lunch. and he had a special way of taking his lunch why you think this lunch he would breathe in the delicious aroma of freshly made halwa coming from a sweet meat shop in front of his working place who was the owner of the sweet meat shop the owner was mushtaq You studied a describing word to describe mustard. What is that? It is miser. M I S E R. Miser. Spelling is S, but its sound is Z. Miser. Okay. He was a miser. What's the meaning of this word miser? Miser is a person. who does not like spending money he was very unkind to people he was not ready to share even the aroma of his sweet halwa every day abdul rahman 
made his lunch a little tastier. How? He would breathe in the delicious aroma and think he was eating a feast. This was noticed by who? Mushtaq Ali, the owner of the sweet meat shop. So he got angry at this. What did he think at that time? He thought he used a lot of money to buy cashew nuts and he to make his halwa taste good. But Abdul Rahman is taking his breathing in the aroma for free. That's why what did he do one day? He went to Abdul Rahman and asked him to pay a call in showing the aroma. Abdul Rahman was surprised. Did he give the money? No. He requested him to let him go as he was a poor man. Did Mushtaqali listen to his words? No. He was not ready to listen to his words. Finally, what did they do? They took their problem, their quarrel, to the court of Emperor Akbar. Up to this you studied in the last class. Now, as you have no textbook, now let's read the next part by looking at the digital content of the lesson. Let's read the lesson. At the court of Emperor Akbar, Mushta Kali and Abdul Rahman told their stories. The Emperor thought the shopkeeper's demand was silly. Looking at his trusted advisor, the clever people, Akbar asked, what is your opinion in this case, my friend? Your Highness, I think Mushta Kali is right. He should be paid his money, replied Bhima. The Emperor and the court were amazed to hear this. Mushta grinned from ear to ear at his sudden good luck. You, Abdul Rahman, take this gold mohar and give it to the shopkeeper, said Bibal, offering a coin to the cobbler. The cobbler did as he was told. The shopkeeper took the coin and made a deep bow. May I go, sir? He asked Bibal. Wait, said Bibal. My friend, Please smell the gold mohar and return it to me. What nonsense! What do you mean? spluttered Mustafa. You say that the cobbler should pay you for smelling your halwa. So we are allowing you to smell some money. Why isn't that enough? asked Bieber. The court applauded Bieber's judgment. Mustafa fell at Bilbal's speech and begged for forgiveness. As for Abdul Rahman, he was the happy owner of the God Mama, a gift from Bilbal. Now, let's see the new words of this paragraph. Trust. T-R-U-S-T. Trust. What's the meaning of this word, trust? To believe that somebody is good, sincere, honest, etc. We can use this word in a sentence. You can trust me. In the lesson we studied, Bebel was Abba's trusted advisor. He had such a belief in him. Have you understood the meaning? Trust. T-R-U-S-T. Trust. To believe that somebody is good, sincere, honest, etc. The sentence, you can trust me.
next one verb b o w what's the meaning of this word bend head to show respect who bent his head in the lesson mushtaq ali bowed his head the people all bowed down before the emperor why did they do like that because they wanted to show their respect b o w bow bent head to show respect what is the sentence the people all bowed down before the emperor next one splutter s p l u t t e r e d splutter what's the meaning of this word stop quickly in anger and excitement how dare you she splutter s p l u t t e r t what's the word splutter what's the meaning stop quickly in anger and excitement in the lesson mushtaq ali splutter when bebal asked him to smell the gold coin and return it to ali that child mushtaq ali spoke quickly in anger and excitement mushtaq ali splutter what's the sentence given here how dare you she splutter next one applaud it spell the word applaud it a p p l a u g e d applaud it show praise by clapping show praise by clapping what's the sentence here the crowd applauded his speech the crowd applauded his speech when the program was good usually we hear the people applauded the program the item okay the crowd applauded his speech his speech was excellent that's why the crowd applauded his speech a p p l a u g e d applaud show praise by clapping in the lesson we learn bilbal was applauded because his this uh, decision to judgment was excellent that's why he was applauded now let's see the verb forms present tense form of the verb past tense form of the verb and past participle form of the verb amaze grin offer smell and splutter what are the other forms of these verbs amaze amazed amazed grin 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 offer 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 smell 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 splutter 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 next the opposite words clever what's the opposite of this word foolish or stupid deep shell the arm shell of air purani deep shell happy unhappy once again clever foolish deep shell happy unhappy now i would like to explain the paragraph all of you listen carefully poor abdul rahman was surprised okay you heard that in the last class you studied poor abdul rahman was surprised when was he surprised because mushtaq ali 
asked him to pay for enjoying the aroma. So what did they do? They went to the court of Akbar, Akbar to solve the problem. Okay, now let's read. At the court of Emperor Akbar, Mushtaq Ali and Abdul Rahman told their stories. The emperor thought the shopkeeper's demand was silly. Looking at his trusted advisor, the clever Bibel, Akbar asked, What is your opinion in this case, my friend? They took their quarrel to the court of Emperor Akbar. Emperor Akbar was annoyed at Mushtaq Ali's words. So what did he do? He asked his trusted advisor, Bibel. Who is a trusted advisor? Bibel. To take charge of this case. Trusted advisor. What's the meaning? Birka Akbar has such a belief in Birbal's intelligence. He knew that he was able to settle the problem. Trusted advisor. Trust. Having such a belief. Okay. Your Highness, I think Bursta Kali is right. She should be paid his money, replied Birbal. To everybody's surprise, Birbal said like this. Mushta Kali must be paid for his aroma. Everybody got surprised to hear this. The emperor and the court were amazed to hear this. Mushta grinned from ear to ear at his sudden good luck. When Mushta Kali heard this, he became extremely happy. That's why he grinned from ear to ear. What's the meaning of this word? Grin from ear to ear. He, were, he smiled broadly. Okay, that was the meaning. He smiled broadly. He was extremely happy. Birbal asked Abdul Rahman to pay up a money for enjoying the aroma. This made him extremely happy. That's why he grinned ear to ear. You, Abdul Rahman, take this gold mohar and give it to the shopkeeper said Birbal, offering a coin to the cobbler. Birbal asked Abdul Rahman to give a gold coin to Mustafa. The cobbler did as he was told. The shopkeeper took the coin and made a deep bow. He was very happy to get the gold coin. And to show his respect, he bent his head down. He bent his Head down. May I go, sir? He asked Bevan. Wait, said Bevan. My friend, please smell the gold mother and return it to me. Mushta Kali was about to leave the place. Then what did Bevan say? Bevan asked him to stop. And he asked him to Smell the gold coin and return it to Ali. What nonsense! What do you mean? Spluttered Mushtaqi. He got upset to hear this. He spluttered. He was angry. He was annoyed at his words. What nonsense! What do you mean? He spluttered. He spoke quickly in anger and excitement. You say that the cobbler should pay you for smelling your halwa. So, we are allowing you to smell some money. You demanded money for enjoying the aroma. So, you must be treated in this way. What did Mushtaq Ali do? He demanded money for enjoying the aroma. Since he demanded money for enjoying the aroma, Birbal said he would be treated in the same way. The court applauded Birbal's judgment. Mushtaq Ali fell at Birbal's feet and begged for forgiveness. The court applauded his judgment. 
everybody became happy to hear this now mushtaqali understood his mistake he begged for forgiveness as for abdul rahman he was the happy owner of the golden a gift from bibar poor abdul rahman got a gold coin but mushtaqali what is his condition now he is begging for forgiveness now he learned a lesson what is the lesson what do we learn from this story it is wrong to be greedy and selfish this lesson carries a good message what is that message message it is wrong to be greedy and selfish now let's see some questions and answers who was the trusted advisor people was the trusted advisor once again who was the trusted advisor people was the trusted advisor who got a gift of gold mother in the end abdul rahman got a gold mother in the end once again who got a gift of gold mother in the end abdul rahman got a gold mother in the end who learned a lesson in this story and what was the lesson learned mushtaq ali learned that it was wrong to be greedy and selfish who learned a lesson in this story and what was the lesson learned mushtaq ali learned that it was wrong to be greedy and selfish dear children i hope you could understand today's class for writing notes you will not be given a special note a separate note when you watch video you pause it and write down the notes neatly in your notebook and don't forget to write in your copy book also write the next two letters study very well for tomorrow's class test you study the meanings of the new words meanings and sentences okay thank you